TJ Hawkinson, tight end 15. I'm not sure where he went overall, but the Lions took him. Uh, he's out of Iowa. He was the actually eight of eighth overall pick in the draft. So, mm-hmm. you know, I hear the I hear the term next Gronk thrown around a lot. We're gonna be hearing that. I mean, it's just like every basketball player that's come up in the last 30 years is, oh, is he the next Jordan? And it's like, right. you know, we're gonna see that thrown around. Next Gronk, let's let's put on the brakes a little bit. But tell me about this guy. Get me excited about him. It's easy to draw those comparisons because Patricia comes from the Patriots and he they had a dire uh, tight end need, and he goes and gets this guy who's very similar Gronk size, 6'5", five. Sure, but, but Matt Stafford's throwing to this guy. Exactly. There's no goat here uh, throwing the rock, so of course you, it's going to be a much tougher time becoming a Gronk, but Hawkinson himself, I mean, is complete of a tight end prospect that's come out probably since Gronkowski himself. Uh, incredible in the passing game, a fantastic blocker, very sure-handed. It comes from that Iowa come, becoming tight end you since they had Kittle just blow up, and then they have Noah fan who went to your Broncos. It's just breeding tight ends there in Iowa. I don't know what the hell they're feeding them, but this guy's a... a, 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 a yeah, exactly, right? That Iowa corn. Something something weird's in there. Um, but he's not just... I mean, he looks unexciting. He's just this big, like, you know, 6'5 white dude, but he actually comes with 88th spark percentile athleticism, running just a, a great 40, a great cone drill, 37 and a inch vert- half inch vertical. So this guy is just a monster in terms of athleticism. And like I said, a great blocker because he can get in there and, and uplift him, uh, defenses, uh, defenders, but then he also has those Travis Kelsey type of moves in the receiving game. So very complete guy, rookie tight end that's often a steep learning curve, which is why he's all the way down here at 10 on the list and he's only my tight end 15 for the season right now because it's very rare we see a rookie tight end actually translate like this but if anyone's going to do it uh, this guy's in a location where there's no tight end in his way and they're pretty devoid of targets yeah they got Galladay and Marvin Jones but this guy could eat up 80 to 100 to 120 targets even this year as a red zone monster there's a lot to like about TJ Hawkinson. You, you don't think that uh, you know Joe Flacco is going to pull out some of that patented magic and get this guy Noah fan, uh, you know, up in the top ten tight ends? Are you kidding me? Uh, he, Flacco, very, uh, he loves di- dipping and dunking to his tight ends, and Fant is incredible. Yeah, he He's even more athletic after the catch than Hawkinson. I so I, I like Fant a lot too. I think both of those boys. That's a question I have for Sycamore for tomorrow night. Is they both landed in these two spots? Who's going to be the more productive one? I lean Hawkinson just as the more complete guy but Fant is in a, a great spot himself too so both of those tight ends could make day one rookie impacts uh, but I'm, I'm gonna lean Hawkinson personally 